Good evening everyone. This is a follow-up to what has been shown on the television. It's been videoed. Uh, I believe she was on Alex Jones. I think maybe even been in the newspaper. About what's in your food, what's in the bread of Subway, and such. This is the product. Azodicarbonamide. Chemical compound. This is the formula for it chemically. We'll read on. Used as a food additive, as we know. Flour bleaching agent and improving agent reacts with moist flour as a oxidizing agent. Secondary reaction products include semi-carbazide and ethyl carbamate. U.S. Canada allow the use of it up to this level. In Australia and Europe it is banned in food. Good for you guys. This is other uses. The principal use of it is in the production of foamed plastics as an additive. Thermal decomposition of it results in the evolution of nitrogen carbon monoxide, di carbon dioxide, and ammonia gases which are trapped in the polymer as bubbles to form a foamed article. As used in plastics, synthetic leather and other uses can be pure or modified. As it also, as a blowing agent in plastics, it has been banned in Europe since 2005. For the manufacture of plastic articles, are intended to come in direct contact with food. In the U.S., generally recognized as safe. It's allowed to be added to flour up to this level. In the UK, identified it as a respiratory synthesizer, synthesizer, possible cause of asthma, in workplace settings and determined that containers of it should be labeled with may cause sensitization by inhalation. WHO linked it to respiratory issues, allergies, and asthma Available data are restricted to these occupational environments. Exposure of the general public to it could not be evaluated because of lack of available data, supposedly. So, we will go to here. Well, I guess we won't. <laughs> yes, we will. We can come over to this site and you can maneuver around. I'll go ahead and include this link. But these are supposedly some of the products that you'll find this in. And we'll see if we can see some recognizable ones. There's the Burger King Whopper. And I believe this will be in the bread, of course. Many people eat but Burger King stuff. I've not eaten Autumn or Aunt Millie's or any of these things here. And I believe I've looked at this before. And you're probably going to notice some things that you eat it in, which maybe you didn't know it was in. None of these I've actually eaten that I know of. I don't buy any of them. Notice there's all breads, bagels, rolls. These brands here I'm not acquainted with myself. But I believe we're going to get into some, if I remember right, that we're all acquainted with. You can see there's a bunch of the great value where you try to save a buck at the store and get the off generic brand of great value. All their buns, sandwich bread, garlic bread. 
Though it's in a lot of stuff that we eat, you don't really know what <clears throat> brands of anything they're using at restaurants most of the time. Kraft Philadelphia Cream Cheese Bagel and Cream Cheese Spread Spread to Go Chive and Onion Kraft Philadelphia Cream Cheese Bagel and Cream Cheese Spread Spread to Go Original Kraft Philadelphia Cream Cheese Bagel and Cream Cheese Spread to Go Strawberry Ooh Little Debbie Breakfast Pastries Six Count Honey Buns and then we have McDonald's Big Mac, of course. Hmm. McDonald's Cheeseburger. McDonald's Double Cheeseburger. See their bread products on their burgers. Double Quarter Pounder, Filet of Fish, Hamburger McChicken, Quarter Pounder, Quarter Pounder Cheese. Uh, uh, unfortunately I've eaten that and Mrs. Baird's. Mrs. Baird's brand, extra thin bread, seven grain bread, enriched bread, sandwich honey bread, split top white and enriched bread, 100% bread, whole grain, whole grain, wheat sugar free bread, a lot of Mrs. Baird, nature's own. That's a famous brand, isn't it? don't know any of these that I know of. Nickel's all time or a wheat. They're like 230 some odd. Oh, there it is, 233. You can also, whenever you maneuver, if you don't use the link and you just come in and Corrals around and type in the, the uh, <clears throat> additive name. It'll come over here and it'll show you products that have it in it, which is what we're looking at. And then it'll show you products that don't have it in it. And you you can look at the products that don't have it in it either. Also, I mean, rainbow. Everybody eats rainbow bread, eh? Roman meal. Yeah, get some Roman meal going. Got some good old Sara Lee, yeah. Sara Lee dinner rolls, bakery buns, French bread, bagels. Yeah, good old Sara Lee. Yeah, they got some stuff in there for us too, don't they? Yeah. Good old Sara Lee, yep, got some more stuff. French toast, yep. Got some breakfast stuff for you and some French toast. Of course, they're hamburger buns, of course. Don't know these brands here. Sunmade, yep, heard of that one. Sunmade, cinnamon, swirl raisin bread, and their raisin bread bread. Oop, the bakery at Walmart. Cinnamon sweet rolls. Split top potato rolls. Still going to Walmart. Sweet multigrain rolls, sweet pineapple golden Hawaiian style rolls. And then of course we have some wonder small bread. Well there you go. You got a bunch of it in the breads, a bunch of different brands. You got some fast food people using it. <clears throat> and this is just one thing we're picking on here. Now you wonder why people get sick. You wonder why people get fat. 
You wonder why people get illnesses. You know, it's real simple to turn the package over. We gotta eat. You know, we gotta we gotta really think about what we're eating. It kind of got us over a barrel because we're not 18, 20 anymore. Where they don't put a bunch of junk in the food. You know, back in the day, food was food. But now there's a bunch of stuff in it. You know, the animals all, are all shot up with this, that, and the other to make them grow bigger, make them grow quicker. Monsanto owns the seeds. Well, they're the seed giant. There's some other little partners with them and have their seed products also. They're genetically altered. And it's not good for us either to eat that either. So if you didn't believe that it is in there, I've just provided you all the different brands of stuff. You know, people need to spread this information around because the only way that you can make a change is if we demand a change. There's strength in numbers. They like money, right? You know, Hey, you don't do their products, they don't make what they want. They left the choices in. What do they do? Bring the price down, try and still attract you to eat it. Change what they're putting in it so that you will eat it and keep buying it. Or simply raise the product price for the people that still eat the stuff. The bad thing is, just like it's probably been mentioned, <coughs> Some of these outfits, let me actually take this stuff out to satisfy the demand of the people. But you know how they are. They probably put something in to replace it with that's just as bad that they can get away with. And then there's going to be a lot of them that won't do anything. Why? Because it's legal. The FDA says it's okay. So, you know, and they got their little lobbyist, their food lobbyist, or what have you want to call them. But they're lobbying, they're getting paid. It's basically a big bribe, you know. It's what a lobbyist does. He gets paid a big bunch of money, and he goes and lobbies for this, that, and the other. And then they let the big corporations have this that and the other and it's all kicked back to Joe Blow or whoever it may be taking his cut and everybody lives in their little happy bribe kickback control world corporatism corporatism has merged with politics corporatism basically is the politics they run the world. The people that you never see. You know, you got a little handful of people that literally control half the world's money. And then you got a very few fraction in there of just normal, regular you and me people. We control our little dab. And then you got some Rothschilds and whatnot that control. The other large amount of money. So, that's the way they've been running us for a long time. It is a part of the control system to enslave humanity. Pray the Lord. He hears you. He wants to help us. Maybe it doesn't look like he's helping all the time. Or he's not hearing you all the time. But he is. And he does. And he will. Chin up, folks out there. We win this battle in the long run. And we win the war in the long run. 